Hey everyone, welcome to the channel. Today we're finally going to talk about the Samsung Galaxy Watch 6. Honestly, I think it's sort of late because I had this watch for more than three weeks now. Uh, the reason why it took so long is because I have kept trying to convince myself that uh, this uh, Watch 6 is a worthy upgrade from the Watch 4. But after the whole three weeks, I just cannot convince myself about it. And this video is about why. I'll start with the screen. I think this is probably the biggest difference that you can see um, between these two watches. The Watch 4 have a supposedly dimmer screen. Uh, the, uh, the max brightness is uh, 1000 nits, while the Watch 6 has 2000 nits. Um, in reality though, I don't think uh, it makes a huge amount of difference. Let's turn on the flashlight mode on both of them. And you, we can basically put them to maximum brightness. And you can see there is indeed a little bit difference on the brightness, but not that big difference. Um, the Watch 6 is probably easier to see under like very strong direct sunlight, but Watch 4 won't be that far away behind. Um, so I don't think that's a huge difference. The other difference is that uh, the Watch 6 has a slightly larger screen, uh, to be exact, one tenth of an inch larger. Uh, you can probably see it here, I can see it, but really when you put it in daily usage like this, I don't, I don't think it matters. Um, it just looks about the same. Now Watch 6 also have a slightly bigger uh, battery. I think uh, this, this is a 44 millimeter one and uh, the uh, Watch 6 has a 425 milliamp hour while uh, the older generation Watch 4 has um, a 361 milliamp hour. So uh, it's, uh, it's slightly shorter. Uh, from my usage, what I see is uh, for the Watch 4, I can use a solid, it can last a, a solid uh, 1.5 days, um, maybe get to 1.7 days, while the, green, uh, the, the uh, um, Watch 6, it can last uh, about two days. Uh, frankly, that, doesn't, that difference is not big enough to say the battery life is very different because for in either case, you have to charge basically every day. So um, not a huge improvement. If it can last seven days, that's a huge improvement. But, but one and a half day to two days, well, it's, it's an okay change, but not phenomenal. Then under the hood, there, there are a bunch of like small changes on the performance, like the processor on the Watch 6 is slightly fa faster. I think it's um, the Exynos uh, W930 and this one is W920. Um, frankly, they are not so big of difference either. They are both based on five nanometer process and uh, uh, the uh, 930 is just uh, uh, slightly a slightly higher uh, clock speed so not not much difference uh, I don't think you can you can really um, perceive it in daily usage then RAM also has a slight upgrade from uh, one and a half giga to uh, two giga uh, Bluetooth this one the older generation have uh, a Bluetooth 5.0 and the newer one has uh, Bluetooth 5.3 all those are like nice to have but not gonna make the experience very different now software wise the uh, the watch 6 actually have uh, the one ui 5 which is a, a most uh, recent like uh, one ui version from samsung while the watch 4 still holds uh, uh, i think the older generation of uh, one UI 4 or 4.5 if I remember correctly. Um, but that's, that difference is going to be gone pretty soon. Um, I think uh, Watch 4 will get an, a uh, software upgrade which will get us uh, one UI 5 too. Uh, and it's not going to be too long. So that's, that's pretty much not a difference. 
Now for sleep tracking, uh, there is a difference on the technology. The older generation Watch 4 is using a sort of a green light uh, sensor when, when it's tracking your sleep. Um, it, it can be pretty bright in the dark environment when you're sleeping, so it's sort of a, a distracting. While the newer generation Watch 6 uses a infrared light for sleep tracking. So you will not be able to see that the bright light, which is a great um, improvement. However, during my test in the past three weeks, what I noticed is uh, the infrared light probably is not working as well as the, uh, the old generation green light. Um, in this new watch, I always get like zero to five minutes of deep sleep tracked while the old watch usually have uh, 45 minutes to one hour, which is much more like normal. Uh, five t zero to five minutes per night of deep sleep doesn't sound right. So I think the tracking have problem. I have adjusted the tightness of this watch uh, in different days, but, but it's still, it just cannot track deep sleep uh, right. So I think uh, that infrared light detection probably is like having some negative effect on the detection accuracy. Now, there's another change here or upgrade, which is a temperature sensor. There's a temperature sensor in Watch 6. I think it's, it's this dot here, uh, while uh, it doesn't exist uh, in Watch 4. Uh, this, this one is a pretty decent upgrade. I think um, it can be used to uh, track your sleeping temperature and uh, now there's new software coming out that you can actually use it to uh, like basically test the temperature of uh, a cup of coffee or um, uh, water or just uh, like room temperature or even look at a certain item like you can you can just detect the, the temperature of this um, uh, the surface of the t of, of this table um, so uh, it's a it's a pretty neat new function although I don't quite find it very useful in the daily life. Um, so yeah, that, I would consider this as a, a probably a, a upgrade that probably have potential, but not very useful at this point. All right, so, so that's pretty much all the difference between them. And you can see from my talk that why I don't think it's a worthy upgrade uh, because nothing really matters, right? All those changes doesn't really matter that much. Beyond those uh, sort of positive changes, there are also actually negative changes. Uh, first of all, this watch, uh, watch 6 is just uh, simply thicker, as you can probably see like this. Um, it, is, uh, it is definitely sitting like taller on your wrist. Um, and uh, that's, uh, that's not the too big of a deal, but, but you can sometimes still feel it. Uh, the other problem is the back. Like if you look at the back of those two watch, the watch six have this bump, like this sensor uh, area is actually uh, coming out of the surface of the, the case. While for watch four, it's a smooth surface. Uh, there's no bump for the sensor. Uh, I guess uh, the bump is trying to like push the sensor closer to your skin but the result beyond that is uh, it also causes uh, uh, some kind of uh, uncomfortableness like uh, you if you wear this watch um, in a, not you don't need to watch wear it like too tight just a normal tightness uh, and wear it for a period of time you might see a mark like this on your on your wrist and it's pretty deep and it's gonna take a while to disappear uh, it's definitely less comfortable comparing to the watch 4 so yeah that's uh, that's uh, everything I want to talk about about my experience on this upgrade um, frankly I'm very disappointed um, I don't think it was the upgrade uh, if you own a watch 4 or even watch 5 just 
don't do the upgrade. I, I don't. I don't think it's a wise choice uh, to go to six and spend. Um, I think I spent a hundred and fifty or hundred sixty dollars. Uh, I don't. I don't think it's worth it. But if you can get a free upgrade, or like an upgrade, you can upgrade it within maybe thirty dollars. I think it's an okay choice. Um, all right. So that's that's it. Thank you for watching. Hope uh, this video helped you on your choices, and uh, I'll see you next time.